in and unmuted. Hopefully we will stay unmuted. I think we're unmuted, yeah. <laughs> you guys gotta chat at us or I don't know, send us psychic energy or something. <laughs> if we, if we get muted, we got randomly <laughs> muted yesterday. So anyway, welcome. Happy Saturday. Let's move around a little bit. Let's just start with some running in place. Just to get warmed up, wherever you're at is fine. Swinging the arms. And while we're running in place, let's go ahead and do some arm circles. And reverse. Good, now let's do what Amber's doing and really push through your feet. Now just go back to running normal. No, that's good, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> and push through the feet. I'm just trying to exaggerate yeah, both, yeah. both versions. <laughs> and stop. One more time, let's run. <clears throat> Arm circles. Can you do two things at once on a Saturday <laughs> morning? <sighs> Other way, arm circling forward. Get everybody warmed up for their house projects today. I hear there's big plans. And stuff. Great feet, fairly wide. We're just gonna twist and let the arms swing and hang. Let your head go in the direction of your swinging. However far feels like it's not too disorienting. And then keep your gaze forward, straight forward. Try not to whack things as you go. <laughs> Now do opposite, so you're looking in the opposite direction. You might have to go a little smaller. Waking up the brain. Looking straight ahead. Making it a little bigger. Really getting some action through your hips. It's okay in this one to use your hips. And I'm going to say stop and then just let your arms naturally come to a finish. Ready? Stop. Wait for all the movement to settle. Great. Okay, so keep this stance and we're just going to reach with our right arm up high. If that's okay for you, if you've got a sore back, that might be plenty for you today. Otherwise, you can go and bend at the torso laterally so that there's a nice long line from the tip of your fingers all the way down through the floor. See if you can make that a nice straight line. Relax your shoulders. Breathe. And if you want to take it one step further, look up. Breathe as you go. This could be a little intense. And look down. We'll look up one more time. Look straight ahead 
and bring your arm down. Do with the left arm now. Go straight up, reach, reach, reach. That may be plenty. You can stay there or you can go on and reach this really long, really straight path. Breathing into this lung to your left lung. Widening the ribs. Looking up. Looking back down. Looking up. And center and come back. Great, just a few more runs in place before we meditate. It's gonna be such a beautiful weekend, I can already see it. It's there are lots of colors outside our window, bright yellows and reds from our neighbor's trees. Just raise your arms, shake them out, shake them to the side, shake them down. Stop the running and just shake your whole body. All right, and shake it out. Good, let's find our meditation posture. Okay. Hmm, woken up the body a little bit, so now you can be awake and alive, even as you sit still. Close your eyes. As you close your eyes, your attention automatically goes to your breath. Easy breathing. Check in with your posture. You can move a little bit to find that if there's any extra tension, you can move around to help the tension release. Be very specific if you have some tension in your low back, you can just move your back a little bit backward and forward, side to side. Then growing tall again. Now let's focus on the face, relax, relax your facial, facial muscles. As soon as I start saying that, I lose the ability to speak. <laughs> so relax your facial muscles, your jaw, muscles around your ears. Muscles around your eyes, including your eyebrows.
feeling the pull of gravity. Feeling weighted into your chair. Weighted into the ground and that weight helps you release even further. Sometimes we hold tension to keep ourselves up a little bit. It's okay to let ourselves actually sit. Relaxing the muscles of the neck. And as you relax them, you grow just a centimeter taller. So yesterday, if you were here yesterday, I think everybody was that I saw, um, we talked about the ocean and the wave and how that's very common metaphor used by meditation teachers. And I think it's a very helpful metaphor. The waves are our forms. Our forms, meaning the words, our words, our words are form. What we call ourselves, our names, our professions, our entire language is a kind of a wave. Everything we see, hear, Touch, taste, the whole kit and caboodle. Are different kinds of waves. Movement is a wave. Breathing is a wave. Aches and pains are a kind of wave. Anxieties, worries, thoughts about the future. Stories from the past. All of these are different ways that the ocean expresses itself. And it's not just oceans that meditation teachers like to use. They like to use things like whirlpools. We did that one day. Rivers, we did that another day. Water works really good because it's a kind of substance that can take on any form. It's a very good analogy for what we are, we can take on any form.
So now I'm going to ask a question. What, who, start with that. Who are you without your story? Meaning, who are you right now in this moment? What is appearing here? Go directly to your experience now. Be aware of awareness, conscious of consciousness. Get in touch with the water that makes up all the forms. This water has certain qualities. It can be said to be very quiet, silent. It doesn't have any problems. Problems are a kind of form and they come later. Many teachers say that it has a kind of a sweetness to it. Very subtle joy. It's not the kind of joy usually that has you jumping around and dancing. It's just kind of a calm joy, contentment, a sweetness. It's often described as vast because no boundaries can be found to it. 
like an ocean. Silent, vast, quietly joyful. When we meditate, we get a chance to let all the forms calm down, the waters quiet. And we just, just get to rest in this vast, silent, quietly joyful space. You rest in this space for a bit, and then you check back in with the forms. You may notice your breathing is slower than it was before. Your pulse is lower. The muscles have relaxed. Thoughts have quieted. you are experiencing any anxiety that not doing it right or anything like that, just recognize that that's the kind of wave also, that's a, that's a form. And that that form, that wave is made of the same water as everything else. Don't try to push it away, just let it in. And as you go grow quieter, 
your awareness of the vastness increases and the anxiety becomes very small in relation to the size of everything else. So it's still there, you don't push it away. But it sort of dissolves. And so much water. Coming close to the end of our time. So let's come back up to the level of form. Let's check in with our breathing. Just noticing the breath. Noticing the state of your body. Maybe there are some places in your body that need a little motion. Wiggle the fingers and toes. And we'll have our three breaths together. Ready, and inhale. Exhale. Second one, inhale. Exhale. Third one, inhale. Even smooth exhale. That's all for our meditation today. I wish you all a very happy weekend. Enjoy your projects, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye. <laughs> Hang around and talk if you'd like to. We have time on Saturdays to chat.